one of the things that I'm, I'm really big on is uh, the ground truth and the reality of each tactical thing. You know, you have to go out and you have to run your life. That means things like picking up the movie screen, grabbing your keys when they fall, feeding the dog, getting dog food, going to Costco just to get dog food. You know, all of these things are part of your day to day tactical life. So you can have this strategic theoretic outcome based program you know we're like i'm not gonna eat taco bell or when i do i'm gonna have taco bell one one meal a month or whatever it is and you can build this design but the no shit reality of day to day like you can build yourself a 35 hour day you know but turns out <laughs> you don't have 35 hours right and so right. Your, your strategic and your theoretic design of your day day to day what it takes to make sure you take care of your well-being and everything else it requires something different than what the ground truth authors you know, it's like you know hey when i leave the house um if i'm out of time i'm going to go to mcdonald's and get a mcmuffin and a coffee it's not that bad it's a compromise and then all of a sudden it becomes a norm now you're getting lunch and everything right so talk a little bit about how do you blend that distance between strategy and actual ground truth tactics day-to-day -day things well it's all about habits and routines i mean you just said it right there like Okay, I get Taco Bell once, and then the second day, oh, well, I haven't had in a while. I'll get it a second day. And then the third day, then all of a sudden, you're starting to form the habit of going to Taco Bell, right? And habits don't care if they're good or bad helping or hurting us. They're going to do their thing over time. They're going to form who we are. We're running on autopilot, right? Our brain's trying to conserve energy with habits. That's why, you know, 97, some, some people argue, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of a disparity in there, but um, the 97% of our actions are, are, are basically habit based and, you know, up down to, you know, 80%. But the, in general, the majority of our actions, our brain is trying to conserve energy by saying, OK, we got this one. Right. Taco Bell. We went three days in a row. I'm not even going to think about it. It's on autopilot. I'm going to go Taco Bell. Switch that with I'm going to eat a chicken sandwich or I'm going to eat, you know, a healthy snack that I've pre planned out or whatever it is. And then all of a sudden that's the habit. And then that habit's working for instead of against you. So it really is about proactively taking a 10,000 foot step back and saying, okay, what's going on in my life? What's working? What's not working in each of these habits? What's preventing my momentum? How do I replace this particular habit with that one? And that's what I help people do. Yeah, that habit thing. You know, we have a lot of habits that sneak in and, and they are um, they are attention thieves. You know, TV is one of those. You know, you, you can have a show. You know, like I, I spend time watching TV with my significant other. Uh, not a lot, though. Right. I mean, if she's watching something, I'll watch with her. But I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to work on some show aspect or something that I can be halfway present. And while she watches the show and at least we're in the same room together, we might stop and have a chat. These are some of the compromises I have to make. But if you have shows, you know, like 10 hours a week, unless that's what drives your happiness, you know, there's that's a habit. Uh, Facebook, the endless scroll to Twitter, all these things that you if you're not getting like, what are you truly trying? What do you want Twitter to do? Is it part of your strategy? Right. That's exactly right. I mean, you got to look at the behaviors again. You know, I call them, you know, most people know good, bad habits. I just feel like that's that's worn out. So I failure versus success habits. To me, it's like you keep this habits of you keep the habit of overwatching TV. Now, by the way, I love movies. I love TV. I always have. And I feel like, again, it's all about balance. Like I watch I watch a certain amount each night. There's shows my wife and I watch. She goes to bed earlier typically than I have usually about an hour to watch what I want to watch. And that's fine. But I also, one of my routines is that I, as you said, I am productive at night. I always have either my phone where I'm, I'm planning out the next day, get going through emails that I didn't get a chance to that day, getting them off the table so that the very first thing I do when I start my day the next morning, when my mind is at a peak energy level and I'm super sharp, is not just going through BS emails and stuff. Or I'm proactive. I actually have a night to do list, literally, where it's like these are kind of like brainless type activities that need to get done. I'm just going to do them at night when I'm sitting in front of you know a show or something. And so to me, that's kind of like I'm habit stacking. It's like I'm still being productive, but then yeah, I got the TV on in the background, and you know I'm I'm still getting things done at night. And so the key is to just make sure that you you're aware of what these things are like if it's the social media it's like okay like you said like what am i getting from this am i doing this because i'm looking for personal development and wellness stuff and i'm getting like good tips that are making me feel better or am i looking at susie and her brand new dress and her perfect skin who's making me feel like shit about myself because i just gained five pounds 
right? Like <laughs> teen suicide is actually at an all time high Ugh. and social media has been directly linked to it, especially yeah. for girls because they're comparing themselves. And so, yes, that is a huge failure habit. However, social media in general is not evil. It's how are you particularly using it, using it that you need to ask yourself. Yeah, fair enough. And, and these are good points to bring up the two, the next two aspects of the course, your relationships and your physical health. 